Lunch time. You need lunch? Please try. Try what? Magic <laughs> Honey ham or black forest ham? I'm gonna have black forest ham. Bologna? Yeah. And Manny wants peanut butter. It's just the three of us here right now. Titus and the boys are going to help his uncle stretch some uh, wire for a fence or something. So we've been watching Saturday morning cartoons after we cleaned up from breakfast. Now it's lunch time. Fishy eat shark. The fishy's eating the shark? Let me see. It looks like the shark's eating the fish. He's smiling though, that little fish. See him? Y'all, I looked for some pickle chips at Ingles the other day. I was really wanting some of those Lay's pickle chips. They didn't have any. And Lay's were on sale too. Why couldn't they have the pickle ones? All right, Sissy's got her bologna sandwich. Let me get you a little bag, y'all. I have these little reusable bags, you know, that I got from Walmart. And I just want to tell y'all, if you have trouble with them drying, like when I wash them, I put them over the top of like an upside down cup or something to dry. But if the inside still won't get all the way dry, just turn them inside out and let them sit inside out and they'll get completely dry for you. And then you can just put them back the way they go and boom, all dry. Suddenly a fried bologna biscuit sounds really good. That may be what we make for breakfast in the morning. Some country ham and fried bologna. You gotta find Cece's boots for her. Hmm. Come on. Well, watch your hand. <laughs> You're getting a little tall there, buddy. Cece found them. I'm not get dirty. Okay, don't get dirty. We are making some repairs on this fence right here with my uncle for his cows and horses. Okay y'all, it is now time to cook supper. We went outside for a little while. Had to come in and get Mr. Man cleaned up. It's so muddy out there from all the rain. When he comes in from playing, it's like it's bath time. Time for a bath. So for supper tonight, we're making shepherd's pie. Jacob and Tyler requested shepherd's pie. I'm trying to think of what sides I'm gonna make with it. I think just, I know what I'll make to go with it. I'll make some more of those copycat Cracker Barrel carrots and just some crescent rolls. Cause you've already got the potatoes and meat in the shepherd's pie. And y'all, my children, <laughs> They do not like any type of fancy shepherd's pie. They just like it to be plain ground beef on the bottom, mashed potatoes on the top, and then cheese on top of that. That's it. If I try to change it up in any way, they do not like it. I think it's because that's how I made it when Jacob and Tyler were little, and so it's like a childhood favorite of theirs, and they just like for it to stay like it is. I mean, I like it this way too, but I, you know, I would add some more stuff to it and like carrots and green beans mixed in with the meat. I would do that and, you know, onion, something, but they don't like it that way. But they like the carrots and stuff on the side, just not in the shepherd's pie. Oh, and I know that this, like, a lot of people call this cottage pie because it's made with ground beef, but around here, like, it's always been shepherd's pie. Everybody calls it. On menus, it's shepherd's pie. Everywhere, it's shepherd's pie. But I know, like, technically, it's cottage pie. So I'm gonna make an orange cake for Sunday dessert tomorrow, and I'm trying to decide if I wanna make it tonight. I might. I'm still thinking about it. When I get this shepherd's pie in the oven, I'm just gonna do crescent rolls, so that'll be easy. Everything else is kinda quick, you know. I mean, the carrots take a little while to boil, but it's still a pretty quick meal. I might go ahead and mix up that cake and get it in the oven. I'm bringing y'all lots of Easter dessert inspiration. If you've missed any of the other ones, I'll link some videos down below for y'all. We have 
coconut cream pie on there. We have banana pudding, strawberry poke cake. I can't even remember what else, but I'll link some videos down below for y'all if you're looking for some Easter desserts. I'm thinking we're gonna make, I told y'all the other day, I think I'm gonna make that strawberry pretzel salad. Oh my goodness, I gotta watch how many potatoes I'm peeling here. I have like a 10 pound bag. I'll end up peeling them all if I'm not careful. I just get carried away. I just need about five pounds for this. So I've got the water going for the potatoes, the carrots. Got my pan ready for the ground beef. When I get these going, I'll shred the cheese. How do y'all make shepherd's pie? Let us know in the comments. Maybe I can talk my family into trying something different. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, they are not picky about most things, but they're picky about shepherd's pie. I don't even think Titus wanted me to change it one time when I was talking about adding some stuff to it. He was like, nah. The first day of spring is tomorrow. three pounds of ground beef. I'm just going to go ahead and make all of this. If I see that it's too much to fit into the casserole dish, I'll just put it in something and stick it in the refrigerator and we'll use it for a taco for lunch or something. We'll use it somewhere. scrape down the sides and see. You get a spoon and taste test because he's the mashed potato taste tester. Makes them smooth. Do they, does it need more mayonnaise or milk? A little bit more of both. Okay. Oh, you're making here a little shepherd's pie. Yeah, shepherd's pie, but I made too many mashed potatoes. That's okay. We'll put them in a little container and. Oh, I'll tell you what about mashed potatoes. It ain't hard to get rid of. with tomorrow <laughs> with whatever we make. Now the cheese. I might have also shredded too much cheese. That's it. It goes in the oven just until the cheese melts about five or ten minutes. Those country ham biscuits are going down and some fried bologna for those who want that instead of country ham. <laughs> Baby 